Today, we will go through problems 21 to 25 of the JMC 2015. Jill is now 27 and has moved into a new flat. She has four pictures to hang in a horizontal row on a wall which is 4,800 millimetres wide. The pictures are identical in size and are 420 millimetres wide. Jill hangs the first two pictures so that one is on the extreme left of the wall and one is on the extreme right of the wall. She wants to hang the remaining two pictures so that all four pictures are equally spaced. How far should Jill place the centre of each of the two remaining pictures from a vertical line down the centre of the wall? So with such a wordy problem like this one, it's always best to start with a diagram. So here we have the wall and the centre of the wall marked with a dotted line. We then draw in the pictures and we find the total empty space between the pictures is 4,800 millimetres minus 4 multiplied by 420 millimetres, which is 3,120 millimetres. Now, because there are three equal spaces, we divide this by three to get each space to have length 1,040 millimetres. Now, we are asked to find the distance between the centre of the wall and the centre of one of the nearest paintings. This will be half of 1,040, 520, plus half of the width of one of the paintings, which is half of 420, which is 210, and 520 millimetres plus 210 millimetres is 730 millimetres. And so C is the right answer. The diagram shows a shaded region inside a regular hexagon. The shaded region is divided into equilateral triangles. What fraction of the area of the hexagon is shaded? So first off, we should try to change this shape into something easier to calculate. And we see that the white star has area of 12 of these small equilateral triangles. And so we can rearrange this shape into something a bit like this. Now, we have three identical parallelograms and exactly half of each parallelogram is shaded. So half of the total shape is shaded. The diagram shows four shaded glass squares with areas 1 cm squared, 4 cm squared, 9 cm squared and 16 cm squared placed in the corners of a rectangle. The largest square overlaps two others. The area of the region inside the rectangle but not covered by any square, also shown unshaded, is 1.5 cm squared. What is the area of the region where the squares overlap, shown in dark grey? So first off, we have um, drawn in some of the length and we find that the length of the white triangle is 1.5 cm squared because its area is 1.5 cm squared and its width is one centimetre, so its length must be 1.5 divided by 1. We then find that the large rectangle measures 3 plus 2, 5 centimetres, by 3 plus 1.5 plus 1, 5.5 centimetres, which gives it an area of 27.5 centimetres squared. Now, the total area of the four squares is 9 plus 4 plus 16 plus 1 
which is 30 centimetres squared, but they occupy an area of 27.5 centimetres squared, the total area of the rectangle, minus 1.5 centimetres squared, the unshaded rectangle, which is 26 centimetres squared, giving an overlap of 30 centimetres squared minus 26 centimetres squared, which is 4 centimetres squared. A palindromic number is the number that reads the same when the order of its digits is reversed. What is the difference between the largest and smallest five-digit palindromic numbers that are both multiples of 45? Well, for the number to be a multiple of 45, it must be a multiple of 5 and 9. And for it to be a multiple of 5, it must end, because it's a palindromic number, start with 0 or 5. But since a number cannot start with 0, it must start and end with 5. And so it must be of the form 5 something 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 5. For it to be a multiple of 9, the sum of the digits must also be a multiple of 9. And so the smallest such palindromic number, to find that, we first choose the smallest thousands digit possible and see if we can find such a palindromic number to be a multiple of 9. We choose 0, because that's the smallest digit, 5, 0, something, 0, 5. So far, its sum is 5 plus 5, which is 10, and the next largest multiple of 9 is 18. 18 minus 10 is 8, and so the smallest palindrome is 50805. To find the largest palindrome, we need to choose the largest possible thousands digit, which is 9, so we would try to find something of the form 5, 9, something, 9, 5. And for it to be a multiple of 9, the last digit must be an 8, because 5 plus 9 plus 8 plus 9 plus 5 is a multiple of 9. And so the difference between these palindromes is 59,895 minus 50,805, which is 9,090. Final problem of the paper. The four straight lines in the diagram are such that VU equals VW. The sizes of angle UXZ, VYZ and VZX are X degrees, Y degrees and Z degrees. Which are the following equations? gives x in terms of y and z. So the trick with these is not to feel intimidated by the problem and use everything we're given. So first off, we're given that VU is the same as same length as VW, and this means that triangle UVW is isosceles. This also gives the angle VUW and VWU are the same, which will be helpful later on. So first we find angle XYW to be 180 minus Y. And so angle YWX is 180 minus 180 minus Y minus X, which is y minus x. Now, because angle yWx and uWv are vertically opposite, they're equal, and so angle yWx equals angle uWv equals angle wUv, and so angle zVy is 180 minus 2 multiplied by angle UWV, which is 180 
minus 2 multiplied by y minus x. And because triangles angles sum to 180, z plus y plus 180 minus 2y plus 2x is 180. This gives 2x equals y minus z, or x is y minus z divided by 2. We check the answers and find that this is the letter E. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below. Goodbye.